here with me is Marcelo Almeida, and he is a big fan of Japanese cartoons and science fiction films. Hello, Matthew. Can I call you Matthew? Uh, yes. That's all right. Oh, thank you. And to start things off, we're going to ask you, what do you think about the movie King Kong vs. Godzilla? King Kong vs. Godzilla. Fantastic movie. I really liked it, okay? Um, what is this movie about for me? I think this... I really liked it because it reminded me of the war. Well, the movie is about uh, this person like the head of a uh, uh, this pharmaceutical company at Pacific Pharmaceuticals, and uh, he's and uh, he's like tired of like TV shows sponsoring his company, and he runs into this doctor, and this doctor tells him about these berries, and these berries come from Faroe Island, and uh, he and he fe and these berries are, are fed only to their god Kong. Exactly. Now. Back then, you're talking about the 60s, right? Yes. Generation of uh, hallucinogenic drugs mm -hmm. and things like that. Terrible things. Uh, and also, if you think about it, um, after World War II, Godzilla was a big guy, right? Mm -hmm. um, after World War I, King Kong for us. Right. Today, who do we have that reminds you of King Kong? Oh. Oh, I'll stop you right there. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Okay, because we're talking about drugs here. This is a drug movie, right? Right? Real American gangster. You know, I, I really think like that. But I'm I'm sorry to go on your, your okay. Yes. And uh, and he, and he and meanwhile, I mean, and so the guy who's the head of the pharmaceutical company, yes. uh, Taco, uh, he he tells the he t he tell he hires two of his his Abbott and Costello like employees, Sakurai and Fujito, to go to Faro Island to fetch the berries. And use Kong to promote his his company. That's true. That's true. All right. So um, I I and I think that the pharmaceutical company back then, uh, especially Kong, you can see that some of the scenes were were uh, reshot after, for, so we can uh, more of a, like an adaptation for the American version. So you see that guy in the beginning of the movie. Uh, you know, uh, Kong's our boy and all sorts of things. Uh, but I do think it's still a drug movie. Really? I, d I do think so. I mean, you know, it, and also how Kong is the big guy back in the 60s. I mean, he got the shaggy carpet. Mm -hmm. but back then you had vans with shaggy carpet, right? Yes. You know, don't come knocking if you see this van rocking type of thing. Yeah. So he was that big guy, you know. I, I, I sh sincerely think so. Um, now, I was terrified when I saw this movie. Terrified. Oh yeah, what scene scared you? I, I think I think the scene it just reminded me of a, of a tragical uh, time in my life when I was really into um, alcoholic booze, and um, I thought that that scene when they were feeding um, alcoholic drinks of berries, what they call it, uh, the the street lingo at the time, I believe, uh, for these drinks to to literally, I mean, this is a sad movie. Matthew. I mean, it, it shows, it takes advantage of this poor man's uh, addiction. You know, uh, I mean, he's addicted to women. He's addicted, uh, I might not, King Kong was addicted to women, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. That's how they lure him in. He was addicted to women. He was addicted to alcohol. Mm -hmm. yeah, true, true. And he was also addicted to other types of drugs. I mean, how did they knock him out in Tokyo? Or, or they knocked him out uh, by, by putting the berries in these missiles based on American missiles called the Davy Crockett's and it like shot it sky high and exploded on top of Kong and Kong's feeling like all woozy. White powder. White powder. White powder fluffing around and he was sniffing and then he passes out. What does that tell you? It's a drug movie. I'm telling you, it's a drug movie. White powder blows up, he has a woman in his hand, he sniffs around a little bit, gets a little bit, knocks down a few buildings and falls down. I, d I hope I didn't hurt any camera angle. You know, but I know, but you think I think of Kong as like a giant hippie. It, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Yes. Now you know King Kong. You know about the 1933 King Kong. He's like on the Empire Steel Building, yes. playing the Empire, yes. the, the yes. airplanes. I liked it. And uh, what was your reaction to the Japanese version? I, I too shaggy, too shaggy. I think his coat was a little, a little bit grooming. Um, and, and, and very big, and very big. Again, this is, we're talking about the Kong that has some addictions, so I, I believe that it was a bit too shaggy for me. When was the first time you heard about King Kong versus Godzilla? In a dream. 
I was with some friends uh, in El Paco, in uh, a city near, um, in, 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 in a beautiful little county size uh, um, city in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And we were in a sweat lodge, and not to be confused with the uh, other places, but it was a very cleansing experience. Um, and that's where I first heard of it, yes.